All right, my Lothar and Seaguard have reached the top of the battlements and they're about to start shooting those Dark Elf assassins. That's the money shot. So this is a clip showing you how to use your Lothar and Seaguard in this game. This is Medieval Total War 2 using the mod called Call of Warhammer and playing the campaign called BOTET. Well, that's the acronym. It stands for Beginning of the End Times. And in the world of Warhammer, that's when Archon, the Lord of Chaos that you see here on the, on the screen, that's when he uh, made a big invasion of the entire world, destroyed the entire world, and that was the end of everything. And so I chose to play as the High Elves. And I really love this game because I'm already a High Elf player. I'm already a High Elf general. I have a High Elf army. Check out my other video about my High Elf army. And here, what I want to show is Assume twice the exactly the, the same scenario where I am going to attack a city, a Dark Elf city. And uh, I outnumber Chaos the enemy. So the advantage is really on my side. But I'm going to show you how not to do it, the bad way of doing it, and the right way of doing it. So first, let's take a look at the wrong way of doing things. And uh, this game is really wonderful because you can be, I mean, you can have a victory, but have suffered a lot of losses. And you can have the same victory, but be very good and very few losses. So here, the bad way of doing things, I'm just going to open the battle and shoot out the enemy, which is on the battlements. There's a single dark charge, a repeater crossbow shooting uh, enemy on the battlements and he's shooting back. So I'm taking a little bit of losses. So I will pull back some of my troops. I still outrange him, but it's not gonna be that efficient because he's too well protected behind the walls. So eventually what I'm going to do is just what I what I have to do is to climb the battlements with my Lothurn Sea Guard. Now they are really a great unit because they can fight in melee very well. However, what they're up against here are Dark Elf assassins and these un these enemies are even stronger than my Lothurn Sea Guard. But here, you can see this is really the money shot where finally they're atop the battlements and they're going to start shooting the enemy with a direct line of sight. And that's key. That's really what you want to be doing with your Lothurn Seaguard. So this is the video of how not to do it because I'm too close. And they will do exactly what they need to do. They will engage me in close combat. And even if my Lothurn Sea Guard are good spearmen in close combat, when they put their bows in their backs, I guess, to fight, uh, even then they're still going to get massacred. So you can see the numbers going down for both my Lothurn, both my Lothurn Sea Guard and for my archers, which have also joined the fight now. They're both fighting in close combat. At the same time, I'm also using my general to boost some of my abilities. So in the end, this is the type of results that you're going to get with this. Really nothing fantastic. So now what I want to show you is uh, the right way to do it. And the right way to do it uses a, a very different strategy because we're going to use the battlements, which uh, have a little feature. There's a little section of it where the enemy, the Dark Shard, is going to have to make a tough choice. He's either going to have to go down of the battlements to cross or stay atop the battlements, but then lose the advantage that he has, because then I will take the other side of the city uh, by reaching the top of the walls. So here, as you can see, I'm going to deploy my troops completely differently. This time I'm going to deploy my troops really on the left side of the map, very close to this little enclave. I'm going to call it like that. I'm sorry if it's not the right word. So I will rush my Lothurn Sea Guard running on the left side of it, and that's going to force the Dark Shards, as I said, to either uh, leave the walls, go down, 
and then they can reach my position faster or stay on top of the walls. They're not going to use, uh, they're not going to apply the right strategy. I will eventually do exactly what you need to do with the Lothran Seaguard, namely hit with a direct line of sight while having enough distance between you and the enemy to get direct hits. And that's how they start to melt. Now, of course, here I also have my archers shooting at them. I also used my ability with uh, my leader, Alithanar. So that led to a completely different result. I have a lot more troops. And as you can see, the enemy has just melted away. And this is going to give me uh, an excellent victory result. Very few uh, troop losses. And this is the way that high elf generals like to play the game. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like, subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.